For all the Sunday politics shows try to come up with new angles on stories, it was hard to watch them without thinking of a poem more than a century old. The poet was William Hughes Mearns and the verse Antigonish, Yesterday, upon the stair, I met a man who wasn't there, he wasn't there again today, I wish I wish he'd go away. The man who wasn't there was Dominic Cummings, chief special advisor to Boris Johnson. While we are led to believe, not least by Mr. Cummings' supporters, that his influence can be seen everywhere, from the reshuffle to the climate change summit in Glasgow, the man himself is only ever seen striding up Downing Street looking like a teenager who dressed in the dark. His absence on the Sunday politics shows was felt. Take, for instance, what passed for the interview catch of the day on both BBC One's The Andrew Marr Show and Sky News Ridge on Sunday, Grant Shapps, Secretary of State for Transport. Ridge addressed the body warm the wearing elephant in the room directly, asking Mr. Shapps about the sack your staff ultimatum that had forced Chancellor Sajid David to quit. The demand came from the PM but the idea was said to originate with Mr. Cummings. It was not the case, said the minister, that Mr. Cummings, or any other aide, got things all his own way. As an example of this he cited the HS2 infrastructure project. Mr. Cummings had described it as a disaster zone, but it was given the green light last week. Had he clashed with Mr. Johnson's right-hand man, asked Ridge. Clash is the wrong way to describe it, said Mr. Shapps, slipping into yes, minister parlance. We discussed it, our various views, and we came to a conclusion. The idea that just because Dominic thinks something that is what happens, is clearly not the case. Ma quoted Mr. Cummings on HS2 in his interview with Mr. Shapps, but the presenter's focus was less on personalities and more on the government's general direction of travel, to wit, getting ready to spend money, and lots of it. Who would be paying, Ma wanted to know. Mr. Shapps said Ma was trying to draw him on the budget, a place he refused to venture even to confirm if it would be taking place on March 11 as planned. Speaking of the new Chancellor, Rishi Sunak, Mr. Shapps told Ma, the guy's only been in place for a few days, let's give him a few days to decide on the date. Mr. Cummings' influence, real or imagined, came up in Ridge's interview with Labour leadership candidate Sir Keir Starmer. Asked about last week's reshuffle, the MP for Holborn and St Pancras said, Dominic Cummings is just getting more and more power. I know Boris Johnson doesn't much like coming to Parliament. He does at least come to Prime Minister's questions. I think we are going to have to have DCQs, Dominic Cummings' questions, before too long. He is actually holding all the power, and for more on this story, visit the news article link.